Today is a big day. We got the duck counts and the pond counts from the May, what we call the May surveys. This is the annual survey of the of the prairie breeding grounds for ducks in the boreal forest. And so, and and the good news is we're doing it this year. We've skipped two years due to COVID, so we can compare to 2019 and then the long term average. And there's some great news. Pond numbers were up, so that's good. The drought is broken. Uh, 4% above long-term average, 10% more than last year in terms of ponds. Uh, the bad news is last year was a wicked drought throughout the Dakotas and, and Prairie Canada. And so, no surprise, duck numbers are down. Yeah, we just didn't make ducks last year. We didn't year. make ducks. So duck, the total duck count is down about 12%. Some ducks that we really care about, like mallard, down 23%. But it's not a disaster you know, right at the long-term average. Yeah. Talk about duck production a little bit. Yeah, so I mean, we know ducks don't produce that well during the drought years as well, but our research is actually showing that the predators don't uh, reproduce as well. For our trapping experience this summer, showing really low numbers of predators, mostly made up of adults. Um, we've been doing some nesting studies this year, very high nest success. Better than we've seen on the prairies in years. In a long time, and that's mainly yeah. just due to the impact of the drought on the mammalian predators as well. So it's all about the fall flight. You know, last year the proportion of ducklings in our bag was very low. This year, from what we're guessing, we're going to see a much higher proportion of young, naive birds moving south. And uh, it should be some pretty good hunting yeah. in, in some spots this year. So great water. Lots of nesting, lots of re-nesting, high nest success. That's a good recipe for ducks. So. That's a good thing. So yep. enjoy this fall. Um, you know, that's one thing with the bee pop is the bee pop now with, with the regulatory process, it's actually going to feed next year's regulations. Things like pintails. This is the lowest pintail count ever recorded. Right. You know, there's going to be some ramifications from that. So, so be prepared and enjoy your hunts this fall. So we may go from a one pintail per day to seasons Who within knows? seasons, or maybe even a complete closure, which would be a real bummer. But but uh, for other ducks, it's going to be a good fall. So, yeah. and and some ducks surprised us. Blue wing teals, yeah, redheads. How were blue yeah. wings and redheads up? Because we think of them as prairie nesters. Yeah, so, compared to twenty nineteen, they did pretty good. Okay, so we think it will be a good fall. Look forward to it and and uh, have fun out there.